Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I'm going to share with you a few fragrances that I feel like you should, absolutely should have in your collection. So let's get started. I will be looking down on my phone just so I can kind of read the notes and help you understand the type of notes that the fragrance has because I am no expert by all means. But let's get started. So the, so the first one that I wanted to go ahead and share with you is Ari by Ariana Grande. I feel like everybody has smelt this. It's a really, really good fragrance and the longevity on my skin is not that long. I know I've heard some people say that this lasts pretty long on them, but unfortunately for me, that's not the case. I do have to reapply a few times throughout the day, but I think it's absolutely worth it. So let me read you the notes for this one. It has top notes of raspberry, pear, and grapefruit. Middle notes of vanilla, orchid, lily of the valley, and rose. And base notes of marshmallow, musk, and woody notes. And honestly, I think for the price, is such a great value. And because I love the smell of this, I don't mind reapplying this throughout the day. So again, that's Ari by Ariana Grande. As always, I will be linking down below any of the websites that you can find these fragrances on. And this one is actually at a good price on the ones I'll be linking down below. So that is that one. The next one that I wanted to speak about, is, so the next fragrance I want to talk about is Ariana Grande Cloud. I feel like everybody everybody has this fragrance or at least has smelt it because it's compared to Baccarat Rouge and I like that you can also take off the actual cloud on it and display it as so if you don't like the little cloud for me I actually love it so I keep it on how cute is that now for this one this one is a sweet lactonic vanilla coconut scent and so the top notes for this one is lavender pear and bergamot and it has middle notes of whipped cream perline coconut vanilla orchid and base notes of musk and woody notes which all of that really does come together i really like the balance of this fragrance it's something that you could wear on a daily basis and smell pretty fancy so if you have not smelled that, I'd recommend you do as all of Ari's fragrances. I think she does an amazing job with them. So that is that one. The next one on my list is going to be Sofia by Sofia Vergara. This bottle is so beautiful. This, I bought it for about $20 to $25. And... For the price, I think it's such a good deal. This has a very fruity, but at the same time, you can get that a little, that little bit of vanilla and sandalwood that give it such a refined type of smell. I think it's such a great fragrance, and it is compared to a little bit of a higher-end fragrance dupe. That's what it is to me. This one smells really fancy as well that's a good one another one from Sophia is love this is more of a going out type of fragrance you can get that coffee note in there that makes it such a beautiful and different fragrance I don't have many fragrances in my collection that have or contain any uh, coffee notes but it's sweet and at the same time, you get the, a little bit of the bitterness of the coffee. And it's super nice to smell the vanilla in there. So this one has passion fruit, orange blossom, mandarin orange, green apple, and middle notes of Colombian coffee, orchid, coffee blossom, orris, magnolia, and base notes of perline, vanilla, and amber wood. And amberette. 
so it has a lot of fragrances fragrance notes in there and this is also at a very very good price you can get all of these either Marshalls or Ross or Burlington or any of those department stores but if you get a chance to get your hands on either of these please try them out okay so the next one in my list is going to be Jessica Simpson Fancy again it's a fragrance that I feel like everyone has already smelled but it's talked about for a very good reason I think it's something you can wear in my opinion during winter so I think that Jessica Simpson Fancy is such a good fragrance because it's something that I consider wearing during winter months because of the caramel and almond notes but also it has vanilla and amber and I feel like that gives you a little bit of warmth and it smells really good I think the projection on this is pretty amazing if you have not smelled it go ahead and try it out it's a very likable fragrance for everyone so I find it really hard for some people not to like this okay and for the next one this is Paris Hilton by Paris Hilton this is a fragrance that takes me back to high school something I used to wear back in the day this is a very fruity but fresh type of fragrance this one has top notes of melon apple and peach and middle notes of freesia mimosa lily of the valley jasmine tuberose and base notes of musk ylang-ylang sandalwood sandalwood and oak moss so again this one is really nice it's super super nice it's not over it's not an overpowering fragrance where you feel like you're going to get a headache because it's too strong absolutely not it's very wearable something you can wear on a daily basis so that is Paris Hilton by Paris Hilton sorry I'm reaching down to get all of the fragrances you guys the next one is fantasy by Britney Spears very loved by everyone I love the bottle it's super pink very girly and as it looks it is actually a very girly and sweet fragrance this one has kiwi red lychee um, middle notes of white chocolate cupcake orchid and jasmine and base notes of musk woody notes and orris root I personally have the one because this got reformulated I was very fortunate to get the one that still smells like cupcake the reformulated version gets more of a kiwi scent more than the cupcake scent but I like I said I have the one that still smells like a little cupcake and I really really enjoy that so this is a great gift for teenagers or anybody that's in high school as well I think it's really juvenile but you can still wear it I still wear it and I've been out of high school for years such a good one again the price for this one is really good it's around your $19 20 I've seen it for even 15 on sale so try this one out as well let me know how you like it and last but not least the one that actually really surprised me I was able to get this one at Burlington it was on sale for $15 and that is Beyonce Heat, Beyonce Heat Rush, yes. So this is a very sweet, fruity, tropical type of scent. This one has top notes of passion fruit, blood orange, and cherry, middle notes of mango blossom, orchid, and hibiscus, and base notes of amber, musk, and teakwood. This one is just so, so good. If you can get any of the if you have to get one of all of the ones i spoke about today try to get your hands on this one because for the price and the actual scent it smells very tropical but very good absolutely worth every penny and you can always find this at a really good price again i got mine at burlington and that would be it that is my top eight if you have any questions comments or concerns please go ahead and leave that in the comments down below i'll be 
looking through all of the comments and if you have any further ideas or any further things you'd like to see from me please go ahead and let me know i'll go ahead and link several websites so you guys can get your hands on any of these products that i've mentioned during the video and without further ado that is it i will see you in my next one bye